If you want to learn how to trade just like me, join the community, click the private discord link, sign up through this membership level and you will gain access to weekly group mentorship calls for free. What's up YouTube, it's Louis Crypto here. Hope you're all well. We're looking at Matic today. Some incredible bullish moves over my uh, over the last update, which was a good while ago now because we're just waiting for stuff to happen. Stuff's happened. We were essentially saying that while losing this 200 EMA over here, we now consider this bearish. But we're looking at this key level of support marked out over here as our support. I also, a few updates before that point, mentioned this bullish divergence with us coming back up into this key level of resistance. And we saw that working out and finally meeting the target. It was from that point where we climbed back above the 200 EMA and eventually lost it, flipping this from bullish to bearish, suggesting that we'd come back to that low. Now we need to zoom into that area because we can see that we actually didn't meet all the targets over here. And with that, you're actually suggesting that we're just having short term movement up to eventually continue to those targets. As long as we maintain below the one fib level, even if you break above the one fib level, we need to see a break of the 0.5 Fibonacci. So we actually could have just had a big pump up into there and uh, up, up into there and then still seen a dump. So it's very nice that we invalidated further downside. So essentially guys, you'd have to still have the in the back of your mind that yeah, right now we are going up. But if we do not break above 56 cent, we still could have this nasty dump back down to 50 cent. That is what you need to consider when uh, learning the Fibonacci path. But as soon as you break through this and flip it in support and break the breakout high, which you saw right there, you're completely invalidating these targets. So right now we're not going to see these prices again for now, unless we're seeing eventual loss of these areas like that. That could still be the case, but we're not seeing that right now, but at least I've got it off my chest and told you guys that that could still happen if we do ever flip this area back up, back into resistance. While it is support, we're on a different path, a path to the upside. And now I'm gonna to have to show you some further targets to the upside and we will be updating Matic a bit more as it's now woken up, come back from the dead sleeping giant has woke up. <laughs> and um, question becomes, is this a bull market? Now I wouldn't get ahead of myself guys. If we head over to the daily time frame, we are beneath the 200 EMA and we can see that we've had these amazing bullish moves in the past and they all top out before the 200 EMA. And so while we are underneath this, you have to consider this a downtrend or at least from that point, you will see a dump. Whether it chooses to hold support over here and we see a break or it loses it, that becomes the next question. So for now guys, what I do envision in the coming days and weeks or months for Matic is a further push to the upside. We can see that we've now reclaimed these moving averages where the 0.65 Fibonacci at 55 cent was. And all we now need to see is holding a support. As we've broken through what was previous resistance, if we ever do dump back down to here, I would hope to see it hold a support. And with that, we would continue higher. That's if we get rejected over here. We can just continue higher. Wait for the daily candle close. We can see that where we've once found support, that is currently where we're struggling with as resistance. It's actually also a marked out area that I've previously had on the chart, just to show you that the, the lines and the areas that we're drawing are all correct and all accurate. So we're seeing that rejection right now. All we now need to do, if we were to see a dump down, because with this bullish momentum, you can have a bearish candlestick and we invalidate it. Just push up and break that height right there. So a break of 63 cent, we'll just see this continuation up towards 68, 69 cent for Matic. If we fail to break above 63 cent, we're gonna see this dump back down to 58 to 60 cent. And then we're going to hopefully break out again, break the breakout high, and then make this high high heading to the 200 EMA. But again, guys, while we do maintain below it, we've seen what previously happens, we continue lower. However, I'm interested in this area. So if we do continue to the 200 EMA, let's just get rid of these drawings now. Right now, we'll continue to the 200 EMA. We're going to eventually get this bullish cross, which is gonna sit right here on the golden pocket. So when we do come down, all we now need to do is hold above that and break the 200 EMA. And this is considered a bull market on the daily time frame. So we are on the verge of that but it's a lot of work still to do. Reject that area, dump down, hold the newly formed bullish cross, which is yet to occur, which is what should have happened here, and then break through. So that's what we want. But as you can see previously, it's not what always happens. So this could still continue lower, guys. Doesn't uh, Just because we're getting up to the 200 EMA doesn't mean it's bullish. 
need to see the moving averages hold, break the 200 EMA, flip into support, break the breakout high. And then we consider this bullish. So a lot of work to do, but on the verge of something in, of something special. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment, share if you want to take action on education or hear more about it. Use the links in the description down below to, to message me on Twitter. Otherwise, uh, listen to this clip right now. Cheers. If any of you are interested in learning how to trade just like me, there's multiple options. Click this ebook. It covers all the strategies that I use in these YouTube updates. So you will have all the same skills. Covers the Japanese candlestick, chart patterns, support and resistance, why I use EMAs over trend lines, Fibonacci's, divergences, and again, using these all together to profit using them. I've also got a discount on my course at the moment, which ends at the end of this month. So that's down to hundred pounds. You also gain free access to my Discord community for the next three months where you can expect to be a part of 12 to 24 group mentorship calls. If you want something that's a bit more personalized to your needs, then join my one-to-one -one mentorship plan. You can choose five or 10 hours of my one-to-one -one help and included will be the three months free in the community as well as my six hour long video course.